All right, so for our next Transworld Motocross how-tos presented by Bike Bandit, we're gonna take you through safety wiring the bike. Okay, a couple of key places that you want to safety wire are obviously the grips being the most important. Two uh, most important places where the rider touches the bike, always want to have the grip safety wired um, and glued to keep them from, from turning. Uh, another important place to, to uh, have safety wire is on your brake line, front and your rear. Um, first being your banjo bolts to actually hold on the bolts that hold it to the, the caliper and the master cylinder. Um, and then around just the, the heat shrink that's on the, the cable itself. So safety wiring over the heat shrink on the brake line will ensure that the brake outer sheathing isn't going to slide up and down on the brake line itself. Another key place that you're going to safety wire is that I like to do personally is around the throttle housing. It just keeps extra dirt and moisture and anything that you don't want out of your throttle housing. Keep it nice and smooth. Another important place to safety wire the bike is your steering stem nut. A lot of riders don't like to have a lot of tension on the triple clamps. So in order to achieve that, you got to run a loose steering nut. Obviously, you don't want it to fall off, so you need to safety wire it. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. Okay, so when you safety wire your steering stem nut, stock nuts don't have any place for the safety wire to go through. So you're going to need to get yourself a small uh, drill and drill out a corner or a couple corners of the nut. Uh, you can just basically pick a, pick a side, doesn't really matter. Um, pick any side you want, peen, you know, do a small peen on either end of the point of the nut and then just drill through that. You can, you can put the nut inside of a vise to hold it still or actually I did that one on the bench top. Doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to, you know, again the front door plate is going to hide it, just something to be able to put the safety wire through. One of the key things to getting safety wire properly put on is that you kind of need to measure the point where you want your, uh, your twist to end. So if you wanted to wrap around this little, little portion here, the triple clamps, just kind of measure, you know, you're going to have to eyeball it that that's where you want your twist to end and that's where you're going to actually grab the wire and then twist it to that point. If you just grab it anywhere, it'll twist all the way out here and then it doesn't look that clean when you want to uh, wrap it around something. So now that you kind of got, you kind of have the, the length that you want, just wrap it around here. Don't worry too much about how it looks. The front number plate's gonna hide it. Kind of steady it with your thumbs. It's nice and straight. All right, so I just showed you how to do some safety wire on the bike. It's gonna make sure things aren't falling off and staying put. That's gonna do it for Transworld Motocross How-Tos presented by Bike Bandit.